All right, we're back. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Survivor fans. We, you should know what this video is about. If you've seen the goddamn thumbnail, if you've seen the thumbnail, you know what I'm going to say. I just want to say, usually I do this in a more professional way. I usually don't use a lot of profanity, but I can't fucking... I, I can't hold this back. This is, this is the most... This is, this is bad. This is bad. Yes, yeah, I'm talking about Jeff Varner. And I, not a whole lot of people really spoken out yet in video form. And I'm going to do it because I'm going to be talking about Survivor every day for a very long time until I'm actually on the show. So, um, dude, what the... Okay, just... For those of you know who don't... This is more of a... a, a a reaction and breakdown because I'm still going to be reacting to the video even though I did see it the night before so but it's a breakdown as well because I'm breaking down everything that happens to Survivor okay and uh what the fuck what what what, what is this why haven't you told anyone you're transgender what the fuck are you serious right now like that <laughs> my bear is pissed off right now like what the fuck what is wrong with you? Who does that? Who who says that to somebody in any in, <clears throat> in any way, style, or fashion? Who does that? You just out at this man. That is that anything has negative. To do with the that game as person. I'm not knocking him. Yes, you did. Yes, the fuck you did. Yes, you did, dude. No, look, listen. Nobody in Survivor because they're on that show. They couldn't really say how they really felt. They were saying it, but they couldn't really say everything that was on their mind. So I'm gonna say it. No, fuck you, Jeff. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, you ain't shit. I don't want to hear nothing out your goddamn mouth. I don't care what anybody got to say in your damn family. Oh, I stick up for transgender people. I argue for the rights of transgender people every day in the state of North Carolina. Well, why do you do it? Why do you stick up for them? Hmm? Is it because you're a gay man? You act like you don't respect women in, in that episode anyway, leading up to it. Yeah, I know you want to save your ass, and we understand how how detrimental the game of Survivor can be go can be on your on your brain and how it can affect you emotionally. But that none of that shit is an excuse for that. There's no excuse for that at all. You pissed off Ty. Nobody makes Ty mad. Ty was pissed at you, bro. Not deception. You just yeah, that was just so to dirty, reveal Jeff. to whom Not he wanted. <laughs> he gets mad at nobody. And the thing that was worse about it is you tried to try to clear your name after you done fucked up. When you fucked up as a man, you have to admit you fucked up. You couldn't admit it until the end, but even then you were still trying to save yourself. You wouldn't even let Sarah talk. Listen to this. That was a malicious attack, what he did. Uh, it, it was, I don't care what you said. There was not malice in it, that. Yeah, it was. Sarah, it was not malice. That's your opinion, mine is that it was. I know, but malice is a pretty hefty claim and there's no malice there. Okay. You tried to clear your name. You can't clear it, dude. You're a piece of shit. Your big fat ass. Your big head ass. Yo, yo, Logan's looking like Logan's granddad from X Men's past, past, past. <laughs> your big walrus ass. Yo, ugly ass, man. Get the fuck out of here. No, take your ass home. Just shut up. Why did they? Why did they give him? They give him a second chance to say something the next day. Why? Go home. You're the only person that got voted out with no votes. Like nobody had to write anything down on paper. You're just gone. Get out of here. You know, normally I have like stuff on the screen and all. I'm not doing all that today, man. We're just going to talk and that's it, man. You are full of shit. And you tried to clear your name. Listen, you deserve an ass beating like never before. You should be slept. Like even do like guys in the hood that use terms like faggot and bitch ass nigga and pussy and stuff like that. They don't even, they don't even say that kind of stuff. They wouldn't even out nobody like that. They, listen, there's rules, right? In the world, there's the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. But there's also a platinum rule and a diamond rule, okay? The platinum rule is don't kill, don't rape. And that also is up there with the diamond rule is too. And, and what it, the diamond rule is, you know, when people want to come out about their sexuality, you let them do it on their own, goddammit. You don't do it for them. And then you tried to say everybody know. I thought everybody knew. If you thought everybody knew, then why the hell did you say it at tribal council? No, you didn't think everybody knew. No, you wanted to expose him. And that was your way of trying to break everything. And you had a good plan working. When you, when you thought you were going to throw shit to the fire and expose everybody in, in order to deflect energy to save yourself, that was actually a great strategy. But then you fucked up. You fucked up. You did that. Don't try to blame me. Don't try to blame everybody else that doesn't fucking like you. You deserve that. You deserve your title. You earned it. Remember when you were in school and you didn't do your homework right and the teacher said, 
hey, you know what, I'm gonna give you the grade that you earned. That's what happens right now, you earn this reputation. There was not malice in that. You try to deflect it and say, oh, it wasn't malicious. It was fucking malicious. I'm telling you it was malicious. Yes, it was malicious. It was malice. It was malice in its purest form. From now on, anytime they make a new dictionary and they use the term malice and you look it up or in an encyclopedia, there's going to be a little QR code next to it. And when they scan that QR code on their fucking phone, this video is going to pop up. Why haven't you told anyone you're transgender? You earn that. You can't get it back. You can't take it back anymore. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff, for holding his ass to the fire. Thank you so much. It hit you, the gravity that you didn't just tell six people. You told millions of people. You didn't, you're not saying all the, all the bad, ignorant stuff that I'm saying. You just held him to the fire. You just held him to it. You said you can't, you, you can't ring the bell or what. Yeah, but he's right. You can't go back from that. And I, I got a whole segment on Zeke, um, you know, if you guys want to see the, the the Zeke video or how I was talking about Zeke, and this is before, this, this is this was I recorded that a week before. The, I recorded a video about Jeff Varner a week before, and if you guys want to see that, especially my my Reddit people, because the Reddit people are looking at this more than anybody else, you know, please drop a comment, either in Reddit or you know, please you know, drop a comment in the video. I'll show you that. But God damn, man, out of everything, I can't wish you any ill will because that's just not how I get down. But what I can say is this, you, you should be fired when you get back home if you, if you haven't been fired already and you deserve it. And not only that, the one thing that you deserve now is your new title. That title of being a monster, that is your title now. You're going to have to own up to it. You're going to have to live with that shit for the rest of your life. As time goes on, people will show mercy because people are good people. But as of right now, you've earned that title and you're just going to have to that that is the word that is the worst punishment that anybody can give you more than me cursing you out. But dude, like you, you can't do that to anybody. You can't do that. And everybody knows that's not strategy. There's no there's no survivor in any in any survivor series, even a newcomer that would tell you that that's appropriate strategy. Oh, this game does so much to you. And that's that's the biggest thing. That's the part I can't let go. That's the part I can't let go. You were grasping for straws. So you were still trying to clear your name while it was happening, while other people were talking, while other people were, were expressing their opinions. You wouldn't even let Sarah have her own fucking opinion, man, because you kept trying to trying to trying to clear your shit, man. You can't clear it. It's done. It's done. Zeke is a champion. I know you don't want to be known as a transgender guy that one survivor or whatever like that, but honestly, it's going to help you. It's going to boost you whether you want it to or not. And if you win a million, and hey, you just win a million, man. Like, go along with it. We all still respect you as a man and nothing and nothing more. I, I, gay or straight doesn't matter. Transgender doesn't matter. You're Zeke the man. And and you catapulted yourself in an instant. You went from that 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 very that 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 look you had on your face is what is what's still making me angry. But you went from that and you were able to forgive him. And I know you had to you had to do it because you have to you have to free yourself and you have to move on and concentrate on this game, right? And and it's over with. And you took it like a man, you took it gracefully, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that, man. Because you're more of a man than a lot of a lot of people. You know, a lot of people couldn't have did that. Jeff Varner couldn't have did it. Ty, I'm sorry, I know I'm cussing a lot, Ty. I know you don't like I know you don't like people saying a lot of bad stuff, you know, because you try to give Jeff a pat on the back. You're such a forgiving person, Ty. And, you know, I have a segment. I'm, I'm, we're going to have a Ty segment, but, man, uh, you guys can forgive him, but I, I say fuck him. I don't forgive him. Fuck it. You don't deserve to be forgiven. That's the way I look at it. I don't have to. I'm just a YouTuber, and I don't have to forgive you because, to me, you're an asshole, and you always will be. So the fact that you try to defend yourself that long, just prove to me that you're a total asshole. I don't. I don't even think you're a gay man because you're naturally gay. You acted like you don't even respect women. So, you know what? I, I can't. I can't. All right. My name is Dimitri Green. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new. Um, talking about Survivor every day. I got. I got a Debbie video. There's Debbie upload tomorrow. Today around two o'clock. I have another video on um, on the Mana Tribe and. Uh, we're talking about Survivor every day, so for you Reddit people, please keep, you know, let's keep talking. You know, send me, you know, you know, if you guys want to ask me questions or get my opinion or something, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, I'm out. Peace. Now, this was Jeff, I assumed that everyone in his world knew.